but knowing that my feelings were contrary to scripture and being faced with a decision to choose of am I gonna let my feelings rule me and make them lord of my life or am I gonna still trust that what God says is true Welcome back to Growing With Me, where real is our norm and growth is our goal. My name is Marangi Faith and I'm going to be your host for this channel. So if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new here, I hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, so um, as you can tell by the title, actually I don't know what I'm naming this video yet at this point. So whatever you see there is probably relevant, but let's get into the video. It's gonna be really hard to make number one and two i got i just got back from church and the reason i am making this is because i felt really compelled to share what i've been going through because like the slogan of this channel says real is our norm and i just i feel like i haven't been re very real with you guys as of late um hence i've been away <laughs> because I just I, I haven't been able to bring myself to the point where I can sit in front of the camera and tell you guys what I'm actually going through so this is one of the things and yeah let's dive right into it so to give you guys some context I am Christian um, I was saved when I was 15 I live sold out for Christ to like my drink and I heavily backslid um, this is in matric. I heavily backslid. I was partying, drinking, kissing multiple guys a night. Like it was just a hot mess, and that bled over into first year. And so, hot, like the first bit of my first year in university also looked like that. Um, and then Christ kind of picked me up out of the streets and <laughs> yeah, brought me back to Himself. So that's kind of some context on my salvation story although i will jump into that um, one day more in depth but i think the first time when i experienced christ which was in grade nine it gave me a revelation that you know god is real he's not just a theoretical god because how i experienced him for the first time was at my lowest point when i felt very broken when i felt very alone and he like his healing power was just there and he really picked me up from the depths so I know that I know that I know that God is real and my convictions went from being like okay you know what let's not have sex till marriage because my dad said the Bible said so too let's not have sex till marriage because the Bible frowns upon sex before marriage and you know the Bible's God's word and I don't want to displease God because I love God and you know, he's done a lot for me so this is like the very least i can do for him so yeah um as of late like i said you know my convictions went from being or went from i do this because i'm told to do this to i do this because i want to live a life worthy of the gospel and, and i want to live a life pleasing to god and i want him to one day look at me and say well done good and faithful servant right so that was just that's that's kind of how that switch happened and um i've never had to fight for my convictions a lot like it's just that sounds wrong but i've never had to i've never been at war with my convictions and my feelings the way i have been in the past week so i just wanted to tell you guys some more about that um, now that you guys have some context on my belief system and why it exists <laughs> uh, it's time to tell you guys what's actually been happening but I fell in love with a girl um, and it wasn't a voluntary act like I didn't go out of my way to pursue a homosexual attraction it 
there had been times in the past where I would experiment with like you know same sex attraction just to see like what it's really about like I was trying to understand and I think I tried it and I was like I don't get this so I'm not gonna do this <laughs> right so this wasn't my way of hopping onto some gay trend like it really just happened and it happened so unexpectedly and so organically that if this person was male then that would be like the perfect dynamic like it it would be the perfect love story if she was male um but she's not so and um, this also happened around about the time that i had been very like anti-men in the sense that i just i couldn't understand why men act the way they act and why they behave the way they behave like it just didn't make sense to me so i was like you know what men can miss me like <laughs> i'm honestly so over them and so i remember like confiding in a friend of mine that listen i actually have like the same sex attraction towards this girl and him being like what if you don't actually what if this is just your heart rebelling against men because your heart is hardened against men like what if that's the case and you don't actually have feelings for her you're just over men and i was like okay you know what? that is a possibility so i'm gonna keep these feelings to myself till you know i go to the grave or whatever and so i kept them to myself but instead of like going away they just they kind of grew over time but again i wasn't gonna say anything because like <laughs> i didn't want to ruin the friendship number one and number two like like what was then gonna happen you know like i tell her i like her and then what happens and so mind you we were friends for like over a year so over time it went from i just really like you to i am actually in love with you like i am in love with the person that you are i adore you and you care for me more than any guy i've ever been with so i like i really really fell in love with this girl and any other like connection i entertained or any other guy i was seeing like they just they couldn't compare to what me and this girl in particular had even just as friends like we would talk every day she was my go-to person for everything she was my confidant you know that person you called like at any minor inconvenience like that's your person at this point she was like my person except she was not <laughs> right um so yeah that happened and again i didn't say anything out of fear of you know what's gonna happen to the friendship if i do and then this year came around it was now like a year later and i started seeing this other person and when i started seeing someone else like for reals for reals i kind of felt how our relationship took like we grew more distant we wouldn't talk as much because again the role she was fulfilling this guy now came to like replace and so I guess she just she kind of took a step back um, so as to not overstep and yeah long story short um, eventually she came over to face her stuff and we had a conversation about what had become of our friendship and why we were growing distant the way we were growing distant um, or why we had grown apart the way we had grown apart and so she told me how she felt about me and it was exactly the same way that i felt about her and so guys <laughs> you know the pain of loving someone and having to look at them and being like in as much as i love you i can't be with you because i would have peace about it and i was faced with a situation where um, I either had to listen to my feelings or I had to listen to God's word. And what that meant is I chose to make my feelings Lord over my life or I chose to keep God as Lord over my life. But I couldn't have both. And it was really one of the hardest decisions I've had to make. Like, it didn't even matter if people outside now were like surprised that I'm bisexual or like gay. Like, that didn't matter. It was just like this is gonna displease god and 
one thing I try to do is to not live outside as well. And then I was faced with a situation where my feelings really wanted to live outside as well. Because if it's love, and this is a question that a friend of mine asked me, they're like, if it's love, then why would God be against it? Because he is love, right? And I don't know. <laughs> like, I couldn't answer him. But I, I knew what scripture said, and I knew that what I felt was not aligned with scripture. And so just having to make that decision that okay i am gonna choose to die to these feelings because one they're flaky and um two I, they're flaky like i can't i can't trust my feelings to rule over my life because they're so unstable and not to say that my love for this girl is you know like unstable but because I've loved her for over a year now, I doubt that's the case. But because it's my feelings versus God's word, we know who is the flaky one of the two. And so that was just a really hard decision that I had to make on my part. It just, it wasn't easy. And now I sit here and I, I'm not over her. But I have to trust that God's way is best. And if God's against same sex relations, then then that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it is. I think just knowing that if I pursued this relationship or if I pursued or if like if I listen to my heart, you know how people are like follow your heart. If I listen to my heart, I know I would be stepping outside of God's will for my life. And I can't be somewhere where his blessing isn't. I can't be somewhere... I can't be in something that I know he won't bless. So that, that was very humbling for me. And I think one of the hardest part for me as well is not pursuing this relationship because I wish to preserve my relationship with God. But being in church today and feeling such a disconnect between God and I because like I just I still don't understand why this isn't right. I I don't understand why God wouldn't approve of something like this. And that's that's an annoying like <laughs> it's an annoying feeling because I'm like I don't get it God, but I have to listen to you still. Like I really, really don't get it. But if she was a man, that'd be fine. But like, she's not. Um, so feeling that disconnect between God and I today in church, and knowing that I also can't have this relationship, and almost feeling like I have one at nothing because it almost feels like both relationships, mine and hers, and um, mine and God's, just it kind of took a toll with us. Yeah. That, that has been my week. Um, and if anyone else has gone through this, like, yeah, let me know. Let me know. One would think that, you know, just because you're a Christian, you don't, you don't feel like same-sex attractions, but yeah, you do. You do. Being Christian does not exempt you from the temptations of the world, just like with everyone else. So yeah that is my way of keeping it real is telling you guys that i fell in love with someone of the same sex and i was quarter to pursuing that relationship with everything in me but because of my convictions i couldn't and i can't say i'm thrilled about it i'm very upset and hurt but um yeah and I'm still also trying to make sense of it all because it just doesn't make sense to me yet. Oh, and when she left, um, she asked me how could two people love each other and not be together. And that's still something I'm asking God because I really don't understand. I really don't understand, but um, 
Yeah. And I saw this this quote in honor of Pride Month and it said Love is love and someone else said no God is love, sin is sin. And for me that's been the hardest pull to swallow this entire week is Oh my days. <sighs> is to have to trust God and trust His Word. And this is not me saying I am against like the LGBTQ plus community. The, these are my own convictions and how I choose to live my life should not affect how anyone else chooses to live their life. But for anyone who has battled with this um, or anyone who still because I never thought I'd, I'd like fall in love to go like that to me that was like so far-fetched like I never could have thought the hardest love I'd feel for a person would be of the same sex and then it was right and then I was faced with this decision that I I now know is the right one but it's it still sucks and I've never had to choose conviction over feelings as much as I have this week because you know I, I could choose to pursue this relationship and I I don't know potentially be very happy right but I don't think I'd be at peace with it I wouldn't and so I guess what I'm trying to say is also someone did ask me if um one of my friends asked me if homos like the fact that homosexuality is a sin is that in scripture and I I don't think a lot of people know the scripture but I'm just I guess I'm gonna put it somewhere up here or up here but um yeah it is a sin and having to die to my own feelings has not been easy <sighs> so yeah that is currently what I'm faced with that is currently what I've been going through and I just I, I don't know what to do with myself I, I don't know how to deal with this so if anyone is ever been in a similar situation, please share or like <laughs> reach out. I'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that's it on my side. Well, I think that's as much as I'm willing to get out at this point. And um, yeah, I am going to be signing up and out.